Do you feel the vibe? The toggle switch for new Lightroom users could easily be one of your favorite functions inside of the develop module. The problem with it is that it's also probably one of the most easiest to overlook. You see it there, but you never really think to push it or to see what it does. So in this episode, I want to show you what the toggle switch does and why you'll want to start using it during the editing process. First, I want to point out what the toggle switch is, and then I want to show you how to use it. So if you look over here on the right hand panel, you'll notice that you have all of your different dividers. You've got your basics, your tone curves, color options, lens corrections, a host of different features and tools to use when you are ready to edit your photograph. And you'll notice on each and every one of these options, with the exception of one, there is a little button that goes along the left hand edge of each one of these sections. This is the toggle switch. The basics panel does not have a toggle switch, but there's an easy way to see what those adjustments are before and after. Now I've gone ahead and done a series of adjustments in each one of these, just so that you could see how this works. For example, if I want to see what this picture looked like before I use the tone curve, I just click on the little button and it's a toggle. So if I click it once, it turns it off. If I click it again, it turns it on. So in essence, it's before and after the toggle switch. Same thing with each and every one of these. So I've made some color adjustments. You can see what it looked like before and after. Split toning before and after. Details might be a little difficult to see, but lens corrections, you can see a before and after, before and after my effects, as well as before and after camera calibrations. Now if you decided at some point that you don't like one or two of these features, you could easily go over to that section and turn it off. So if I don't want details being applied anymore, I just click the toggle switch and it'll turn it off. Maybe I don't want split toning, so I can turn it off. Maybe color calibrations I don't want, so I can turn it off. Pretty painless. But what about the tools in this upper tools options here? Well, the spot removal brush, if I turn that on, you'll notice that there is a toggle switch in here and I've used it to remove some sensor spots. As well in the graduated filter, there's a toggle switch. In the radial filter, there's a toggle switch. And in the brush, there's a toggle switch. As for the basic adjustments, if I want to toggle these on and off, it requires a couple of additional steps. For example, once I open the basics panel, if I want to reset all of the tonal adjustments that I've made, I could just double click on the word tone and it'll make those adjustments go away. But if I want to bring them back, I just hit Command or Control Z and those tonal adjustments will come back. Same thing with presence. If I've made adjustments to clarity, vibrance, and saturation as I've done here, I could double click on the word presence and it will reset those adjustments. Hit Command or Control Z to undo that and it'll bring them back. Hopefully the people at Adobe hear my cry and add a toggle switch to the basics panel to make this process so much easier. It doesn't make sense that every other section has a toggle switch, but the basic section doesn't. I'd hope that they would add that in some future updates down the line. Nonetheless, there are workarounds for it, and the toggle switch is pretty amazing. And for a little added bonus, if you want to see a before and after of everything at one time, just hit your backslash button on your keyboard, and that'll give you a quick before, and then hit the backslash button again or a quick after. So that backslash button in essence acts as a toggle switch for everything before, after, before, and after. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We always appreciate your support. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more future episodes as they get released. As always, thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next episode.